everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chang. I'm a translator and language teacher. Today, I'm going to share you about the Vietnamese tone system. As you know, Vietnamese differs from other languages because of its tonal system. Uh, if English has intonation, Vietnamese has tones, which uh, create melody of sentences. The tones are very important because each word with each tone has different meanings. So if you pronounce wrongly, uh, it may lead to misunderstanding. And uh, therefore, you should learn tones very properly. Okay, now let's get started. There are six tones in Vietnamese represented by five diacritical marks. First one, dấu ngang or không dấu or no tones like ba. Next one, dấu huyền low level like ba. Dấu sắc high rising. Ba. Dấu hỏi low falling rising. Ba. Dấu ngã high falling rising. Ba. Dấu nặng low falling. Ba. Okay, let's look at the diagram here. You will see six uh, different color contours. Okay, uh, we we have a ZOX and OY. The OX indicates uh, the high and low pitches of toes, and the OY indicates the long and short lengths of toes. Right. Uh, now, come to the first toes is a không dấu. Here, look at the diagram. I have the word ma means uh, you see the yellow line okay the yellow line uh, let's see listen to me ma 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 okay when you pronounce this tone it means you should keep your voice high and flat ma all right now we come to the example i have uh, an example like Em ăn cơm chưa? Okay. Em ăn cơm chưa? Okay. So, and here, my voice flat and high. All right. Uh, just imagine like you say uh, no in English. No, no. All right. Let's come to dấu huyền. Okay, look at the diagram with the green line with the word ma. Ma. Okay, for this tone, you should keep your voice at low level. Ma. Okay. Ma. Okay, now let's try to pronounce some examples with me. All right. Ba. Ba. Nhà, nhà, phà, phà. Let's keep your voice lower, right? Bà về nhà bằng phà. Okay, very good. Okay, the next tone is dấu sắc. Dấu sắc. Let's see the diagram with the purple line, okay? You will see the rice. Yes, and with these toes, uh, you should keep your voice up, okay? Let's raise your voice, and the rise is fairly steep, okay? Like ma, ma, all right? Okay, now try to pronounce the example. Chó Chó Uống nước Uống nước Bé Bé Ok Just raise your voice Ok, keep your voice go up um, When I hear some uh, foreigners They usually pronounce like Chó Chó But in fact we just pronounce, uh, we, we don't need to uh, open the mouth widely, just say normally like chó, 
Okay, don't don't don't, uh, don't pronounce like cho. All right, just cho. All right, bé cho cho uống nước. Okay, say again, bé cho cho uống nước. Very good. The next tone is dấu hỏi. Uh, let's look at the diagram with the red curve line. Okay, mà mà. Uh, you will see. You, first one, you you should uh, lower your voice and then you go up slowly. All right. Mà mà. Let's see the example. Hai câu. Hai câu Biển Biển Okay Shoot uh, Low your voice And then Go up slowly Hai câu Sống ở biển Hai câu Sống ở biển Very good Okay now we come to the next choice Dấu ngã Let's see the The diagram with uh, black curve fly ma. Uh, we call this toe as a broken tone because uh, this toe is a fall from high to low and then a sudden rise. Okay, high to low and then sudden rise. Ma, ma, very good. Let's see some examples. Dia, dia, vỡ, vỡ. Okay, try to read after me. Dia cũ đã vỡ. Dia cũ đã vỡ. Okay. Uh, in fact, uh, when you uh, pronounce dấu ngã, you will see the southern accent. They have only five uh, toes only because they uh, pronounce dấu ngã same as like dấu hỏi. Okay. Now we come to the last toe, dấu ngã. Let's see the diagram with the pink lines. You will see The word ma, okay, ma. Uh, with this toes, uh, you should keep your voice as low as possible and short. Ma, 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 okay. Okay, now try to pronounce some words after me, okay. Bo, do, bo, cho, bo, do, chan, bo, cho. Say again. Bộ đội chặn bọn trộm. Okay, very good. Let's imagine in English uh, when you pronounce uh, ed sound like wanted. So tut is is same with the zona in Vietnamese, right? Wanted, right? Tut. Zona. Hmm? Okay, very good. Okay, so we just finished uh, six toes. Uh, I have some uh, sentences for you to practice. Now, let's listen to me and put the marks on the words, okay? Number one. Chào chị. Tối nay ta gặp nhau nhé. Second time. Chào chị. Tối nay Ta gặp nhau nhé. Second sentence. Nhà anh ở phố nào? Nhà anh ở phố nào? Okay, number three. Nó mấy tuổi rồi? Nó mấy tuổi rồi? Try to do this one. 
All right. Here is answer key. Let's check you right around. Mm -hmm. That's great. Thank you for learning with me today. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to receive more useful videos of learning Vietnamese. Bye and see you next time.